na askofu wetu na kanisa familia za wale ambaye wamepoteza wapendo wao spika wetu wa kitaifa mawaziri makatibu wa waziri waheshimiwa wa bunge marafiki na watu wa kirichu wa mjambo God is good I know the time. Nisalimieni kwa hewa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Nimefika hapa kwa niaba wa kiongozi wetu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Dr. William Samoe Ruto na serikali ya Jamhuri ya Kenya kuungana na familia za wale walipoteza maisha yao katika ajali ya barabara na wakaaji wa Kiricho na majirani kwa niaba ya Rais William Ruto kuja kusema pole Rais wetu alihuzunika sana kwa maafa na majeruhi mabaya ambayo yalitokea na Rais amenituma hapa kwa sababu walikuwa na mipango ilikuwa imepangwa hapo mbeleni inahusu manchi jerani na ya kitaifa ambaye hangeweza kufika akanituma nifike hapa nikuje niseme pole na niweze kusikiza yale maneno ambaye viongozi na familia wangetaka pia kwa niaba yangu mimi mwenyewe na mke wangu pastor Dokas na vijana wangu pia nataka niseme pole hii pigo ni kubwa zaidi na watu wa msini na mbili kwa safari moja ni jabu la kuhuzunisha kwa hivyo tunataka kusema tunaombea Mwenyezi Mungu ampatie amani ampatie nguvu viongozi wamenena mambo mengi sana na kanisa kwa niamba ya viongozi ningetaka niombe msamaha kwa sababu kanisa mlichukua muda mfupi sana viongozi walisema tu ni dakika moja moja wamechukua masaa tatu lakini ni sawa kwa sababu hawana maneno pia wanakuja kuombeleza niseme ya kwamba waziri wetu Kipchumba Mukomen rais amekuagiza ufanye kila jambo litawezekana to deal with road safety kwa sababu watu 1500 kwa kila mwaka is too much for the country. Na waziri unaweza fanya mambo mingi sana ya barabara ya nini lakini I would like to encourage you to focus on road safety as your legacy for the time and the opportunity you have to serve in this ministry. I want to assure you of the support of the president and I and the rest of us in coming up with practical interventions and solutions to bring sanity on our roads. And the measures you have spelled out here today make a lot of sense to all of us who are drivers, who are road users. The public sector, Yamatatu, Namabas, Namalori, has been chaotic. It is true the late John Michoke attempted to do a very good job and you must emulate him but do it differently using now technology because these are different times. I know some of the measures will be a little bit painful. I want to urge the people of Kenya to accept that for us to have meaning of change there are few people here and there who will be affected, but for the better good for the people of Kenya. So to get wabunge wetu, when those regulations come before the National Assembly, the way our very able speaker has committed, let us support the minister and the ministry so that we can create sanity in our roads and save lives. Because this is very painful. Ningetaka kusema mumeomba ya kwamba serikali pia isaidie kwa maneno ya mazishi, 
kwa hao 52 families pia na wale ambaye wamejuruhiwa wako katika hospitali na ningetaka kutangaza ya kwamba rais amepeana ame directive ya kwamba tutasaidia kwa hivyo after tumefanya mchango our regional commissioner is here atakaa na familia muone pahali iko gap ndio na sisi tukuja tujaze tuwasaidie kwa hivyo after that the regional commissioner is here will do some consultation with the family taking into consideration what we have raised and what is the gap ndio leo leo pia kama serikali tutatuma pesa ya kusaidia his family please sit down i want also to thank everybody I want to thank the governor of Kericho and your team and the leadership of this great county. Kwa vile mulijitolea and the commitment all of you are here you are calling us from here. And this very painful happening has brought the leadership of Kericho together. I would like to urge you to remain that way. Don't just be together in times of crisis. It's good to be together all the time. I would like to thank the county government of Kericho kwa kukubali to waive the mortuary charges and other hospital bills. I would like to thank Governor Susan Kehika of the neighboring county kwa usaidisi county government of Nakuru iliweza kupeana. That is the way this country must be. This area of Lodiani is cosmopolitan and I want to urge you to continue living in peace because Kenyans are one people. This accident proved that the people who are affected, the trader never chose where you come from. Because people live together. Let us all stay together as one people, as one nation, as one country, because that is the right thing to do. Ningataka tu niseme, kwa sababu mimi unajua na semanga ukweli na imanene ya ukweli ni mzuri. Many people have a problem with the truth. But Kenyans are getting used to it. Deputy Governor Kiricho Vesema ati tukate mfereji tuweke matangi. Ukwe ni mikuamba haweze kani. It's not possible. Let us also be truthful to the people that we lead. Iwa haweze kani. Wana koti moja. Ata iyo nasema ati mutu wakufe kidogo lafu wakufe baada haweze kani. It's not possible. Lakini wazungu wanasemanga if wishes were horses so it's good to wish <laughs> but uh, that is as far as it goes so mimi kwa niaba ya rais wetu ningetaka kushukuru nyinyi nyote kwa vile mumefika and i want to thank the church for holding these families in prayer our churches we don't know how we can ever thank you many people Many people who are not believers sometimes demean the church. But until you are in a situation like this one, is when you know how critical and useful the church is. Coming to comfort these people is not an easy task. So we want to appreciate our church leaders. I don't want to tell you not to be worried about what happened in Shakahola and other things. Some people are trying to, to blame the Church of Christ. The church is a reflection of society. In, in every society, there are deviants. So, at a wakanisa, watapata pastor moja wawiri wakora. But 99.9% .9 of our pastors, our reverend, are good people. So, Musijali, tuendelea na Ijiri, tuendelea na Kujenga, and uh, we have freedom of worship in this country. It is enshrined in our constitution. The president and I and our team are in leadership through prayer. The church is secure. And our administration, you could never have a better administration. We know, we appreciate your role in society. So we want to encourage you to continue doing good, to continue taking care of our spiritual needs, and continue praying for this country. Mimi sitaki nisidishe kutoka hapo kwa sababu leo tutaki kuogea mambo mingi 
We just came to say pole to the families on behalf of the president and we want to say we are grateful and I want to thank the Regional Security Committee, the County Security Committee, the Sub-County Security Committee for the testimony that has been given here of what you did. Even those few policemen making roadblocks, toll station, the one the speaker has talked about, again is a reflection of society. There are just a few officers who are rotten and we are on it. We are on it. Very soon the president will receive the report on the task force that is looking into the issues of the police force, police service, and there will be changes. Soon, in the next two weeks, the president will meet all the regional and security committees to discuss with them the concerns of the people of Kenya, among what you are saying on the roadblocks. The Ruto administration has decided that continuous engagement with everybody is the modus of parody of this government. For the first time, government is talking to police. Nobody has ever talked to them. Mimi Jodi Meanza Juzi Kuwaita to Onge. And we are making progress by talking to them. You know, what was a man who 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 we are now sitting down with the police officers and allowing them to talk to us. We talk to them and we agree. In the next two weeks, the president will convene a meeting of all the county security teams, the regional security teams, and all the formation commanders for a one day tete a tete with the president to agree on the concerns of the people of Kenya. Then the police can also tell us where they are facing challenges. And we'll have an honest conversation. Because our police people are Kenya. They are people's husbands, they are people's brothers, they are people's sisters. And they are product of this same society. For them to take that bribe, somebody has offered that bribe. See, no kweli. Kuna mutu ya maingia mfuko na polisi ya maingia mfuko kuchukua pesa yako. Nyi nyi wenyegi ya munatoa. Na kusema wea vade hiko chai kidoho. You are also the ones who also entice our police officers. They are equally duty for also taking. They are also not good. But even those who give you are also not good. So we need an honest conversation. To see where the blame game at the police is your bad guy. Apana. Mukikosa kutowa is it chukwa. So watch at to Kubaliane. Let us have let us have a conversation at that level of the president because we have found that engaging the people of Kenya is a way to run this country. President William Ruto is not a ruler. He's a leader. He must listen to people, including our police officers, including leaders, including women, the youth. Let us have an honest conversation so that we know how to take our country forward. So, kwa hiyo machache na mengi, Governor, muna sema, muna taa kutawa kitu ya hii, maneno? Kuja uniambia what we do? Na washimua mutoe mingi vile muliogea masa mingi. Get here, yeah, and then you receive for us, okay? Yeah, no, no problem, yeah. yeah.